but it's weird. Why is it weird? She said it was weird. I don't know what she said. Why is it weird? Say what you want to say. I just feel like it's none of your business, like anyone's business to like know what anyone's body count is. Like, and quite frankly, like I wouldn't even want to know from another guy because then like if okay. it's a number I don't want to hear, like I'm not going to like you anymore. All right. Well, maybe we'll come back to that. We'll continue yeah. going around the table. I want to get everybody's answers. Go ahead. No. You don't object to it? No. Okay. I don't object. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's it's fair to, you know, that, for that to put you off. Um, but I would also say that maybe... Sweet Tooth, thank you for the gift of 20 memberships. Maybe... I would say that maybe uh, don't discount somebody because of that, because that's not, you know, necessarily... I mean, you could really miss out on somebody good who has a past that... You know, maybe it doesn't align with your virtues, but also maybe they don't. Maybe they've grown from that, and uh, so yeah. I'd probably still discount them, but uh, <laughs> um, I don't object. Oh, okay. So just to bring it back, why is it weird? It's invasive. What's invasive? The whole body count phenomena. How? What do you mean? To like. Want. Here, let me paint this. Let me give you a scenario. Let me give you a scenario. Let's say the guy doesn't even ask. He just knows because you've been friends, with, you know, maybe he's been in your social circle and he's known you for three years and he's known you've gone out to parties and bars. He's heard it through the grapevine that you've slept with 20 men in the past three years. Um, he doesn't ask you outright. Is it invasive then for the guy to not want to date you because you've slept with 20 men in the past three years? No, but I do think it's heavily judgmental. It's heavily judgmental. So you object to judging people. Didn't you I, say I, earlier that you your your allowance well not allowance but not, it's you not allowance. you need a guy to spend five to ten thousand dollars on you a month? I said that's the average amount of probably what it would come to if you're putting like like fun things like the average relationship expenses into play, but definitely not an allowance. Would you, would you date a guy who works at McDonald's? No. So, so we, you're judging kind of him. Judgment is that. That's yeah. a judgment. But, but, no, you but, could have been missing so I, out on like the best burger flipper ever, and you just pass him by. <laughs> How him. judgy. I just, I, I don't know. I think body counts between like 10 to 30 in today's society is like normal, honestly. Let me ask a different question that I'm just curious about. Assume right this second you enter into this dating market. I don't know much about the dating market. Okay, I've been off it for a long time, and thank God for that. But let's can, say you can, enter into it right now, and you were a virgin. Would it be invasive if somebody asked your body count then? Yes. I still wouldn't tell anybody because I feel like guys take advantage of women who have low sexual experience. How do they take advantage <laughs> How, how do, you do think, they take advantage? Do you think then that most women's answers, when they answer that it's invasive or they don't like it or this type of thing, is because they have themselves a high body count? Not necessarily. I don't even consider myself to be in that category. I just don't think it's any it's a man's business. Like why? Like what benefit do you gain knowing who I, I've slept with in the past? Like, so we can disqualify you from dating. Yeah, but I, I agree no with what you're saying, that. too. Because sometimes ignorance is bliss. Like, let's say, hypothetically, you meet Give the... Give me the red pill. <laughs> That's the blue pill. Okay, ignorance let's say... I want, <laughs> I want to know so I can make a determination of, do I want to date this person, yes or no? I don't want... Like, I would want that information. That way I can make a determination. Yeah, but let's say in every single aspect of this one person, let's say you've been meeting people and it's never worked out with anyone and you meet this one person, they're absolutely perfect in every single aspect. And then, but, except this one thing... But they have a body find, count of 100? you find out later... Okay, not 100, but you said what you consider high is 10. Let's say it's well, 20. Well, I'm using the extreme... Like, I'm using the extreme on both sides. So the extreme is, this is the perfect woman... Butler donated $200. Thank you. Since one in three women aged 16 to 30 has a STD now, and condoms don't protect from genital <laughs> herpes, body count matters. Yep. Feminism uh, turned herpes, your lady yep. parts into a radioactive wasteland. I'm gonna go vomit <laughs> Radioactive. Now. By the way, here, let me drop the nuke. Actually, Nick, could you click the nuke red? <laughs> click nuke red. 
Yeah, radioactive wasteland. There it is, folks. Look at that. Holy fuck. That's, <laughs> that's what it's looking like. All right, Nick, you can... Oh, yeah, look. Okay. Um, so to use an extreme on both ends, you're saying, well, the perfect woman, she's perfect in every way. She's a 10 out of 10. She's blah, whatever. But here's the extreme on the other end. She has slept with over 100 men. Yeah. That's a no. But wouldn't you rather just not know? Like you like just, the, you want to keep her as this perfect No, I being want the truth. Tro truth uber alles. Well, let's just, I want the truth well, let's overall. Just kinda, let's just kind of grant it though. You know what? And say so your preference is that you didn't know because for you, right, not knowing is a thing that you would prefer. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't really care. Would you say there would be any problem though? Like, I honestly don't. Would you say there would be any problem though for a person who did want to know? They did want to know the truth. Maybe but, ignorance for, is bliss for you is true. But maybe for another person, ignorance is bliss, not so true. Yeah. But like, why do they want to know so badly? Yeah. And with the thing with STDs, you why can do get want to be so STD ignorant test. so badly? Literally, well, I, I, I just don't really care. It's not that I want that so badly. Yeah. And if like my boyfriend came up to me and he's going to tell me his body count, I'd like run away and close my right, ears Right, but your everything. pushback is, but I ignorance is bliss. It's like, okay, that's fair enough. It's true. Maybe if you're ignorant about something um, and you didn't have any foreknowledge to it, you might go a certain way. Like, okay, maybe, but if another person had the preference to not be ignorant on, on the topic, what, what still would be the objection? Other than you just kind of think it's icky, right? That's really it. When you get down to the, the value judgment, in other words, aren't you guys really just saying, I think it's icky. I think it's yucky. There's not really anything else no, to that. I mean, it's like someone's privacy, like their personal life. Like to me, sex is something that's very intimate, and it's is like it? a private. And that's well, well, intimate if you have a high body count. <laughs> yeah, that. But, 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 yeah, no, yeah. but I think sorry, I don't. I think Izzy and I kind of see similar to this on on this particular topic because we're not using this as an excuse to be go pr promiscuous, you know, and sleep with a bunch of guys. I'm just saying I think it's rude for a man to ask a lady. How many guys have you slept with? I recently not rude. I recently actually spoke to a guy about this, and he. I think him and I like kind of agreed on the standpoint like we don't need to know each other's body counts but if you are in if we both are in an area and you see somebody that you slept with do me the favor and let me know and so and, and we're in the same area and I'll do the same that's but, like, asking you your body count just in a in a different no, way but it's, no it's just like if you slept with a dude could you just point him out that's not invasive <laughs> but the but the alternative but the alternative of asking you how many you slept no, with like, is too like, invasive like, like if, I were for at, real? if we're like at a party or something that sounds just, 10 times no, worse no, to me no just so they don't make a fool out of themselves and the person is there you know but like to go out and ask for a number like that that's just and wild that's a, that's and i'll never give it to you just point out the person right no. it's like what <laughs> this on. is actually a great reason why men ought to date women with low body counts so the likelihood of you being in a scenario where you're in the same room as another man who's fucked your woman you're just almost making our argument yeah. for us. Yeah, in fact, you're, that's your demand. You're like, hey, I had a conversation uh, with a guy, no and way. he was like, look, if you've been in a room with other dudes that you've been, no, can you point him uh, out? That's literally asking you your body count. No, but stuff happens. Like Sometimes you'd be like, out at a party. It just happens. And, like, yeah, it just, happens. Who just happens, and you're like, damn, yeah, like, you know, that's You stuff. know how it is. You're at a party sometimes, <laughs> and you're just hanging you out, just and then in walking people, people you've slept yeah, with. That's how like, what? Sexual intercourse with at the party. <laughs> no. Um, I'm 22. I hate me. <laughs> it's, Wait, if you I, have a I, small circle, like it's, it's, it's sometimes you see people out. It's true. How many, how many people in the small circle have you had sexual <laughs> intercourse with? God damn. Imagine like a college Enough to campus, point them out. for example, like a college campus, like people in college be doing craziness. Like you That's bound, true. you bound to see somebody there. Like you should like, you know, like it's not like that. <laughs> Look, uh, okay. Um, I'm still not sure why it's weird. I have a question for the ladies though. Um, would you date a guy who had sex with men? Nope. Like they're bisexual? Yeah, sure. He previously had sex with men. Would you date him? Um, I've never really thought about it. Think about I, it right now. I mean, as long as, like, I don't see what difference it would make. Hmm. If they're bi. Okay. Okay. Are you bi? No, okay. I'm straight. What about you? Um, um, I've been close. I've like kissed a bisexual would, man. Would you have a long-term relationship with a guy who's had sex with men? Yeah, I think I could do it. You? Th she thinks she could I do it. I think I could do it. What about you? Hard no. 
But hold on. What's that's not any of your business. That's his what kind path. of value judgment is that? <laughs> that is a value judgment. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Nope. That, no, that, that is my business because that same in, individual's thing has been in like a man's thing, and it's really my business. Whoa, wait, well, wait a second. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. There's a little cognitive dissonance going on here because you're saying you have no right to know my past and what I ever did. Yeah, my, so what, my what if, straight heterosexual past. So then yes. what, if you're, what if you're hanging out and you're dating a guy and you really like him and he's like, he's like the one and he spends the $10,000 a month on you, the whole nine, but this you is know not, what I mean? This, and you're, no, and you just, and you, one day you just like pick up the phone and this guy's like, yeah, it's Chuck. And I used to sleep with this dude. <laughs> Would you dump him? Immediately. It sounds like a value judgment. It does a sound like bit. a value like judgment. A judgment. <laughs> Call it what you want. I, I can't be with a mind like that. I'm sorry. Going, going around the table, would you uh, have a long-term relationship with a guy who had sex with men? Depends on compatibility and other aspects, but no. Oh. Okay, <laughs> but no. Okay. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's a no. Absolutely not. Are we supposed to answer this one? I don't know. Okay. Um, well, okay. So um, some of you said body count does matter. Some of you said body count doesn't matter, shouldn't matter. You don't object to men caring about body count. So it begets the question, what's your body count starting with you? Over 100. From you going this way. I'm not answering because I think that should be private between oh. me and my boyfriend. I thought you said body but count sh doesn't matter, shouldn't matter. I mean, I don't know. I also said it's no one's business. You don't have to answer. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Um, I'm genuinely not sure. Range. Like. Or over X number. <laughs> like no more than 20. So 15 to 20, I would say. Okay. Decline the question. I thought body count didn't matter. It's nobody's business. Okay. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> it's private. Zero, waiting for marriage. Uh, I'm sorry, you spoke. You got, guys, I'm please. We do need you to speak. I said zero, I'm waiting for marriage. Oh, that's really nice. Good for you. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's marriage. Okay. It's interesting, though. You guys say body count well doesn't done. matter, but uh, you do refuse to answer the question. It, I find that interesting. I think privacy, The my right to my privacy is what is important to me and i don't want to share it on the internet that's yeah, fine that's something. fine i do think it's i, interesting I have a, i have a question too that yeah. i'm just curious about kind of folding into this my, my question is i i can respect your position but then this podcast is in famous for, sometimes infamous for asking these questions you know so i wouldn't go on it if that was my position yeah but i had the option to decline to answer well, I suppose you could decline to answer every single question we ask you, but... Yeah, and then I'd probably, like, would never come back here. <laughs> like, you wouldn't get invited back. Yeah, some things just don't need to be on the internet. Like, if you wanted to be on the internet, Look, you're cool. not, you don't have to answer the question. It's fine. Yeah. It's just, like, it kind of... <coughs> you know, your whole position of, well, body count shouldn't really matter. Men shouldn't really care about it. But I also really want to reserve that information because you think you'll be judged on it. Well, I have a different question oh, I'm curious yeah. about. So all of you guys almost unanimously said if a guy had ever been with a, another guy, that's like, no, right off the gate, which, by the way, is awesome. But let's... Let, Andrew, let me, stop. You're going to get canceled, <laughs> dude. Like, They're going to cancel let you, me ask this. Let me ask this a different way. Should a guy be able to, or should a, should a guy get together with a woman who has had same-sex activity? With another woman? With a woman. So a woman, it's the same sex activity with a woman. Should a man get together with her? Men love that. <laughs> Double standards. <laughs> Double standards. Hello? Um, it's a little different. Oh, it, it, is it? Oh, you think so? What, no. What's the difference? From the, if the standard is, the, you, you had a same sex relationship, so that's a no-go. But if this sex had a same sex relationship, that's A-OK. -okay. What's... I mean, that's up to you, you know what I mean, if that bothers you, but I don't think it bothers most men. Yeah, I mean, maybe not, but we're still holding the standard here, right? What makes it a no-go for you guys? If a man was in a same-sex relationship for you not to date him, what, what is that force that drives you where you're like, no? Um, I think 
masculinity and femininity are very different. So when it comes to same sex relationships with men, like men and then women, I just think it's a lot more, it's a lot, it's a bigger leap to, to go same sex with a man than. That doesn't really answer the question at all. So like the question specifically is this same sex activity between two men, you're like, no go, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Why? Because it's very uh, emasculating. In my what opinion. If he's a that's that's pretty. Uh, that's kind of as emasculating as it could get. That's it. It's just it's just a masculinity issue. Yeah, I think so. There's no other. I mean, it's also reason. yeah. I mean, let's well, not get into that, but but know. there is right. There's yeah. other underlying oh, well, reasons sure, there. Sure, sure, right? but that's you know, and also I don't know if that would apply to female same sex situations. Why? Because there's different uh, body parts getting involved. Yeah, I'm not. I'm <laughs> okay. just. I still. So, I just don't understand the standard. I guess. If I can jump in on that, though, so if you guys are kind of repulsed by the thought of men doing that, then like the thought of you doing that with other men. That's kind of how we, we feel. Look at it, right. To draw, it, to draw it all home, that's the same way that we would feel the opposite About way. you guys right. being with other men. It's, it's not a perfect, it's not perfect. I mean, I, I understand. It doesn't map but, on one to one, but yeah. you could get the preference you here. You get it, right? I understand, and that's kind of why I'm like, I, I, I don't really encourage promiscuity. Like, I actually prefer to be like with one person for mm -hmm. long extended periods of time. That's beautiful. But great. to each his own, like, it's your body, you know? Speaking of which, this is actually why I refuse to date a woman who, <laughs> who's had sex on camera with another man. Speaking of Sean Evans, <laughs> call back to two hours ago. If a woman has had sex with a man on camera, that is a 100% a deal breaker for me. You're out. Do you mean like a home you, flick or You fans? are... Out, afuera. out you go, afuera. Where's, where's my fucking soldier? Wait, how did, wait, the, how wait. did that get turned on? Do you, Holy mean, like fuck. A, do you mean like a private movie or like OnlyFans? No, he's talking about I, public, yeah. for public, public consumption. Yeah. For public, public viewing. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. 